Just imagine, it's another beautiful day on God's green earth. The sun is rising, birds are chirping, and Sekiro is out. Truly a wonderful time to be alive. And just then, the industry of games journalism decides to take a nice hot dump on all of it. I'm sure many of you have seen this article by now, and wow, it is a doozy. Entitled, Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice, needs to respect its players and add an easy mode by Dave Thea. Thea? 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 I'll call him Dave. Now, old Dave isn't a stranger to this flawed argument because he wrote the exact same article almost three years ago for Dark Souls 3. This article seems to have gained quite a bit of traction over the last 20 hours or so, being seen many more times than his average Fortnite guide. You might ask yourself, Mitch, as one so great and mighty as yourself, why waste your time with refuting this journalist? No, I'm sorry, a games journalist. Firstly, there's something completely arrogant and annoying about how these sort of clickbaity titles are written, like Sekiro needs to respect its players. Um, how about no Dave, it doesn't need to do anything? And of course, the record has to be set straight. Dark Souls, Bloodborne, Sekiro, whatever, they do not need an easy mode, and here's why. As Miyazaki himself has said numerous times, he rejects the label that Dark Souls is supposed to be a brutally punishing game, that these parasitical journalists love to heap onto it. And I'll admit, it certainly appealed to the publishers who consistently thought it was a good idea to ram the this game is hard meme down our throats over and over again. I'd like to say this as well, when you watch interviews with From Software employees or just about how they act around Miyazaki, it it's so obvious the amount of respect they have for him is immense, and I think compromising on his vision with some sort of easy mode would affect that relationship, and I don't want that to happen. I'll say this one time, Dark Souls is not a hard game. Dark Souls and Bloodborne are honestly some of the more forgiving games in the series because they allow the player to become massively overleveled very quickly. In Dark Souls, there's the Drake Sword. In Dark Souls 2, there's Bonfire Ascetics. In Bloodborne, there's Chalice Dungeons. There are ways to build up resources very quickly to assist you with the rest of the game. They may take a little bit of challenge at the start, but the reward keeps you going for a long time. Then we arrive at Sekiro. Is Sekiro a hard game? Yes, it is. It may be the hardest game From Software has made so far, partly because it has forced Souls fans to completely relearn how to play their games, and to cement this education of a new set of skills, familiar crutches have been removed. No more summoning, no more multiplayer, and limited potential for farming or grinding. If any of these things existed in Sekiro, the experience would have been made much easier and much less satisfying to triumph over. This is what these people do not seem to understand. Making Sekiro or From Software's games more accessible will not make them more fun or better, but rather it will degrade the experience as a whole. If you're a Division 4 football player and want to go for Division 1, are you going to expect the opposing team to simply come down to your level to give you a better chance of succeeding against them? Of course not. I'm truly proud of the feat that FromSoft has achieved here with Sekiro. They have set up a truly challenging gauntlet of tests to see if you have what it takes, not exactly to beat everything that they have set up to stop you, but to take the time to master the new skills that they have designed and use them against your enemies. Old Dave here talks about From needing to respect its players, but it does already by expecting that they have the tenacity to push through and attain feats that they might have thought impossible at first. So what is Dave actually saying? His gist is the follows. Number one, an easy mode would help people that don't have the time to learn the game. And number two, FromSoft doesn't respect its players because it doesn't allow them to choose their own playstyle in terms of difficulty. That's it. So let's explore these ideas. First off, if we look past the various crutches sprinkled throughout From's games like Summoning, Drake Sword, Grave Lord Sword, Secret Shortcuts, Tear Stone Rings, Magic, Gold Pine Resin, Bonfire Aesthetics, Giant Dad, Beating the Dancer Early, Chalice Dungeons, Rushing to Item Pickups, Boss Gimmicks, and so on, let me tell you something. If you're on PC, you can use cheats or trainers that will obviously make the game a joke. 
Something that From Software has always made clear is that it sticks to its guns and doesn't feel the need to kowtow to gaming's latest trends. Can you imagine if EA made Sekiro? It'd have a minimap, no XP loss on death, summoning, objective markers, purchasable cosmetics, and the rest of what we have come to expect from modern action games. With games from From Software, you know at least that every time you're going to get a product made by people who walk to the beat of their own drum, nobody else's, and I hope to God that they do not listen to Dave's advice. It is so rare nowadays to see a game completely unaffected by modern gaming tropes, to be able to sit down with a game that is totally respectful of you, not in the way that here are all the choices you could possibly have to make the game tailored to your specifications, but this is a test, these are your tools, give it your best shot. I honestly wish games did that more often and had the balls to leave it to you. And on the flip side, there are so many games out there that I suck at, but you don't see me asking for the devs to make it easier. That's the whole point of calling them games. Games are only games because within them exists some sort of rule system that eventually pay out a feeling of reward. And difficulty ties into that, obviously. The greater the risk, the greater the reward. If you want the truth, I wish that Souls games were even less forgiving than they are now. There are some first victories I had against bosses in these games that I did with the summon, and it haunts me to this day that I could still not beat them by myself the first time through. I stole that sense of victory from myself because I didn't want to put in the time to overcome them. I wanted to set this game's specifications to fit me, and that seriously sucks. It's not some deal of the players being respected by From Software or Sekiro or whatever game it is, it's about us respecting the job that From Software have done. I think we've all been in that position playing one of these games when you face an enemy or boss that is just kicking your ass over and over and over again and you're whether you're smashing your controller or you're yelling out in anger and then you settle down, you think about what you need to do and you finally beat them is there anything better than that feeling, that feeling of triumph? Those, th that sort of feeling can be replicated outside of these games, obviously, but it's so special. And I'm not finished with Sekiro yet, but I feel like I'm getting pretty close to the end, and I'm honestly dreading finishing this game because I love it. And since we only get one of these games every couple of years at this point, it's something to be savored, not to be messed with. Also, let's not forget, and I'm going off script here, okay, I'm going sicko mode on these journalists. Games journalists are responsible for turning our industry into shit. I'm not saying they're all bad, they're not all bad, but Forbes, Forbes, my dad reads Forbes. So if you think I'm going to listen to this pencil neck tell me how to enjoy From games, and how everyone shouldn't enjoy From games. No, you're wrong. 1v1. 1v1 me right now. But that's, I think, all from me, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed the video today. Bit of a impromptu response to this article that I saw this morning. Hope you're all enjoying Sekiro. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. If you have any thoughts on this matter, leave them in the comments below, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.